Hello there. Today I'm going to show you probably the easiest way to create a photography studio in Cinema 4D. It is probably something like a light box or cyclorama which I found on a good tutorial from a channel called 4D TV, but this will be in a more recent version of Cinema 4D. So I have opened a new Cinema 4D document and I need to create two spline objects. So I'm going to the spline icon here and I select the rectangle. I'm going to duplicate this rectangle by clicking command on the keyboard and I click and drag down. If you are using windows instead of command, you will press the control key. I'll change the names of the first one to small and for the second one to big. So with the small one selected, I'm going to change the size to something like 10 by 10 centimeters. It's here. On the big one, I will change it to 2000 by 2000. To see, you can just click H on the keyboard. Now with the big one selected, I'm going to click the rounding and change the rounding on the corners to 300. Then I will make this object editable by clicking on this icon here. And because I would like to edit the points, I will click also the points icon here. If you notice, you can see the points here. So I would like to select some of the points. I'm going to click on one and click and hold the shift key on the keyboard and select the other ones. Just this because we need to keep this corner here. Another way to do it is by selecting with, with the selection tool. I click the delete key to delete them and then I go to the close spline and remove this stick. Then we need to add a sweep object so I'm going on this icon here, I click and hold and I select sweep. Now I'm going to add the small object first on the sweep with the arrow pointing down like that and then I'm going to add the big under the small with the arrow pointing to the left. So what the sweep actually does is to take the small object and deform the object underneath. So make sure you have the correct ordering because if this will be in another way we will not have the same results. So now if I select the small object and edit the height, you will notice that the object is starting to change and start to create the actual light box. Let's put this to 3000. The width here is how thick is the object. So if I put here for example 100, this will be much thicker. So in this case we don't really care how thick it is. Now I would like to add a material to the object. So I come here on the materials panel and I double click to create a material. Then I will double click on the material to edit it. I will remove the reflectance and make the color white. Then I take the material and I click a drag either on the object or on the sweep here. If you'd like to have a different background color, you can just edit the, the color of the material. Now if I click on the render view, you can see how it will be. Next I would like to add the light to my scene. So I will click the light icon here. I will change the position a bit. And then I would like to edit the shadows. So with the light selected, I'm going to general. And on shadow, I will select shadow map soft. You can also change how hard the shadows will be by going to shadows and then the density here. Let's make it something like 50. So if I add another object now, if I add something like a sphere and I move it a bit lower, if I render it, you will see the shadows underneath. I can also create a new material. Edit the color to a green, a blue green color. and I will add it to the sphere and if I go closer I can go closer by holding the 2 key on the keyboard and click and drag I can do the same with the 3 key on the keyboard to rotate and 1 to move the scene a bit 
So if I render, you can see the ball with the shadow underneath. If you'd like, you can add more lights in different colors or also in different kind of lights. And this was how to create a simple photography studio scene in Cinema 4D. If you found this tutorial useful, click the like button. And if you'd like to have more tutorials like that, consider subscribing. See you on the next one.